guys, what's up? Uh, Oswitz here. Here's a 2K battle playing against Blood Angels, uh, my standard 2K orc list. Here's the setup that I have. Uh, big Macs are on both sides to give my trucks cover save. And the grout lineup like that is kind of strange, but uh, it's so that I could have fit more trucks. And yeah. Anyways, that's, that's my setup. Alright, um, so that's the setup right there. His kind of mass junked it all in one little woods, I guess. I don't know why. I can, whatever. It's just, that was what he did. We're playing, oh yeah, playing Spearhead and Annihilation. Something, yeah, Annihilation is one of the games I hate the most. Uh, but basically, he has Corbolo and a Rhino with nine other space marine, assault marines. He has a ten man assault marine. And basically, he has priests in all of his stuff. It's kind of a strange list, but yeah. Alright, let's go into turn one. Uh, turn one is, you know, flat out with everything 18. My cannons shot at both of the rhinos, and all I did was stun them. Yeah, so that was. No, wait, sorry. I didn't sh shake him. Whatever number one is, I can't think right now. And that's it, basically. So let's go into his turn. Uh, in his turn, he kind of just moved up uh, his two rhinos and popped smoke and moved up his bikes a little bit. But no other movement, really. Let's go into his shooting. In his shooting, he popped both my Big Mac trucks, which is really impressive. Uh, they both got out on a 5, so that was kind of cool. No like damage dealt to them at all, and that was basically all his shooting. Oh, wait. The truck on the bottom by the light blue mechs, if you can see that. Towards the middle of the screen, got a uh, weapon destroyed and immobilized. I forgot about that. But yeah, that's all that he got for his shooting. Let's go into uh, assaults. Uh, there was no assaults for him, but for my movement, this is my movement phase. Uh, you know, just swimming around, trying to get close to him and uh, hope for the best. I was hoping that my cannons can pop the two uh, rhinos, so my if I call the wall, both of my squads can assault them. And Snick Rock squad did come from the bottom, which was nice. And uh, yeah, so I was hoping. For the best, and oh, let's, let's just see if I can get the best, you know? You gotta, you gotta risk it all sometimes. Um, yeah, so I did pop, in my shooting phase, I did pop both of uh, the rhinos, which I was like, hell yeah, you know? Uh, for my wall phase, I rolled like three ones for some of the guys to wall. And that was, that was what kind of killed me this turn, was that. But I made up for it go into uh, my assault phase. Alright, in my assault phase, uh, the uh, top right corner of uh, the green base squad rolled double ones to go through terrain, so I whiffed in my knob squad, went in there, we did some good battles and stuff, I one by one, but he, you know, held his ground. Uh, the teal green killed five, no, killed four, and he killed four, so he tied or something like that. Uh, the biggest combat that I loved was against his Cobrolo squad. I didn't kill Cobrolo, but I made him run, and I just basically walked him off the table for the rest of the game, which is nice. And then my Snickerot squad, we both tied. Like, we did, like he whiffed it big, am amazingly, and I was like, alright, cool, I'll tie you in combat. And that was it for basically my assaults. For his movement, he just moved his bikes in through double terrain, through double terrain and one died only. He moved his orange squad up to assault the dark green base and that's basically all that he could move all right let's go into his shooting or assault phase assault phase uh, he killed off the top green one where actually uh, the knobs finished off his uh, that squad that they were in tie with and the green and the black base squad just keeps duking it out he did kill off my snake rod squad that was amazing but for some reason I the bike squad not do enough damn they did good did get the wounds off but I got the saves off they killed my big mech but that was basically all that really happened and I stayed in combat which was amazing right which also helped me miraculously next turn all right for this turn I just had to move up my last two trucks that had squads in them I needed to kill those bikers off and I needed to you know almost annihilate them this turn because it could be it could be the turn that uh, make, makes or breaks me basically uh, so yeah, basically, well, what could I say? What could I say? Um, I got my gray squad in the ready to assault the black to help out the green base. My knobs are gonna assault the orange. Uh, 
my light green and uh, camo green are gonna that, that came out of the two trucks are basically gonna assault the bikes and then I have the brown base on the bottom I'm gonna assault that squad and I just gotta punch in hope for the best. Um, I killed off the bikes, which was amazing. That was the highlight. I did kill off a lot of the space marines on the bottom, and I killed off almost all of them up top with the orange squad. That was like three left. And basically, uh, going into turn his turn three, I did annihilate the whole squad of uh the orange from uh, big no knobs, and I walked off Kabolo. I walked off a secondary priest. And he only had one squad left. He did manage to kill the brown base squad on the bottom. And then it was going to be all those squads versus him. So we just called the game and went with Annihilation. He won by me. If you can see on the top right right now, you can see how much I was leading by by the skulls at the moment. And uh, yeah, it was a good game. And it's fun to play one for the good, especially if it's not fast.